This world is a superhuman society with about 80% yes, of the we know. population <laughs> some uncanny We're going to get recap again. Work. But maybe there's some special significance to it this time. My name nice transition is to Deku from All Night. My friends and I are working hard toward a shared goal, facing every challenge that comes our way. And then eventually forming a superhero singularity that wipes out the entire world. That's different now. That's a different tone that this whole thing takes. No one told us that we're heading for Armageddon until recently. This is my, my hero, hero academia. academia. Academia, damn it. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like eight inches ago, which in the My Hero Academia timeline is like three weeks. Check this. I was right, I was right, I called it, I called it. It's the dancing arc, it's the dancing arc. I think I said this in like season one. How is she so good at that? How does she have the time? She's obviously practiced extensively. Yeah, how does she have the time with all these like villain attacks and, and end of the world scenarios? I bet Ashido's dancing skills end up being super useful in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Do they? <laughs> Do they? I mean, it's just that she's athletic. Oh, maybe I should take up dancing too. It's happening, it's all happening. The dancing arc is happening. We'll start with something easy. Step forward and back and left and right while swinging Oh god, this arm. is all people all people ever trying to teach you something. It's like that meme of how to draw an owl. First, draw an owl. Step two, color it, I think. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's super easy. You just do this this long sequence of complicated steps. And then the real learning can begin. Make sure you're staying loose. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just just it. stay loose, Deku. <laughs> yep. Look at Ayama being super loose. I don't know. Come on! Your dorm room looks like a recording studio. Yeah. One look and I can tell music is your whole life. I feel like she's gonna be big in this arc, based on the intro. She's got cafes to go to, and blank notebooks to stare at. You should start a jam set. <laughs> but she's self-conscious about it. What? That's sort of an extreme reaction. If she's this shy about it, I'm like anticipating a coming of age rock solo, you know what I mean? The school festival. School festival. Yeah, school Are we making rice balls? There are villains everywhere right now. You can't right. let them affect your normal that's lives. A reasonable point. However, there that's, are that's villains winning. Besides those in the hero course, the support course, general studies, and don't forget the business course students. For example, bread hair. Many of your peers are feeling stressed out by the current conditions here at UA. Yeah, especially yeah. the dorm system, which had to be adopted because of the hero course. <laughs> because of you guys, <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> so yeah, it's still on. And hopefully everyone will enjoy it. That's really, like, heartwarming coming from Aizawa to say that. Your class still needs to participate with some kind of original programming. I love how Aizawa is just in cocoon mode today. Cocoon mode is a mood. Even without the practical applications of this that Aizawa just described. You gotta, like, enjoy your life. I don't know. It's really great that they take it so seriously, but there's something important about rest and play as well. It's like working out. You know, an essential but sort of underrated part of it is resting. The same is true for just about any kind of development, I think including mental development. The brain is a muscle too, in a way, or at least has similar requirements. Like you just need to, to rest. Sometimes working on a, a difficult problem, you'll reach sort of the limit of what you can do for that moment. And interestingly, taking a breather or focusing on something else seems to be less of ceasing to work on the thing and more of sort of allowing it to run on sub channels for a while until your brain comes up with an answer. And I think everyone knows the, the feeling of suddenly the information popping up at like a random time. And also just generally, I feel like the better your mental state, the more you're enjoying what you're doing, the more you are feeling good about things, the more faculties you have for difficult tasks. So it might seem like a distraction, but for me, it's essential. I understand exactly why they could really use something like this. And also, I feel like there are lessons in just about anything you, you can possibly do, especially things that sort of break the mold or routine in a way that a culture festival does. You need to decide what you want to do today. Rice balls. He's out! <laughs> he brought his cocoon for a reason. If anyone has an idea, raise your hand. <laughs> well, of course. I wasn't expecting such enthusiasm. You don't know Class 1A. This is how they live their lives. I don't know what they're going to choose for the school festival, but I know they're going to win it and they're going to be an inspiration to the world with a smile on their face. Faces. Yes, you, Kaminari. A main cafe. <laughs> the first one. Imagine it. Mineta's going to like it. That's way too tame. Mineta, <laughs> the top line. Oh, oh no. Oh, thank you, Sue, for ending that sentence. Arm wrestling match. So intense. Very Kirishima. I don't know what you mean, but sounds interesting. <laughs> oh no. Fight to the death. Unexpected <laughs> festival. A mad banquet of darkness. <laughs> I kind of like that idea, not gonna lie. Maybe a skit? She wants to do music. She's hiding from her, her passion. I feel like it's gonna be a dance off. Anything inappropriate, impossible, or confusing. There goes Mineta and. <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> Quiet down! I'm telling you, a fun house would be so cool. What does that even mean? Silence! Oh, fun house makes sense. Civil! I'm with Invisible Girl for once. <laughs> well, that was a highly unproductive meeting. Well, at least they got a nap in. 
If you don't, we'll go with my idea. An educational lecture. <laughs> he's joking, right? Nope. He's dead serious. You can tell how important this is just by how, how much energy they're putting into it. They're loving it. It's obvious that we've caused some strain on the other students. It would make sense to choose something that might raise their spirits in an effort to make it up to them. That is so oddly beautiful and profound that he's thinking about the other students. I love you. Don't think we can offer the students of UA a meal that satisfies their taste buds since they're used to lunch rushes gourmet cooking. Right. That's what I'm saying. Food here is nine million Michelin stars. If we're the only ones having fun, the event will be a disaster. Right. Something it's that helps them let loose. The lunch rush is just too good. Perhaps it's like a dance con competition. There's the maid cafe, petting uh -huh. zoo, and whatever a fun house is. I love others. I don't need to rag on Invisible Girl anymore. They're just doing all my work for me. This is gonna make me take Invisible Girl's side because now she's the underdog. Leave Invisible Girl alone. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. I just agree with Ida's opinion that we should provide stress relief for the people in the other courses. I got the idea from my extra exam training. What are they doing in those supplemental classes? Wait, what? Where is this episode? Where is this episode? Why are they holding out on us? Is this an OVA I can download? Hold on, you idiot! Dance is about rhythm, thunderous beats! If we do this, we'll need some serious- That would add something to Mineta if well, he can actually we're dance. talking about music. There's no hiding from it. Embrace your talents. I bet everyone in school would love to hear you rock out. Look at Invisible Girl supporting her. <laughs> what a great episode for, for her. Their hobbies actually help their hero work. They have a purpose. What? But isn't her, her but hero work audio related? It really is just a hobby. Nah. I feel like there's no such thing as just a hobby. People get confused, you know? People like to take certain activities and put them in a box of like productive, unproductive. I don't think there's any such thing. I think a bigger concern is not the activity itself, but the extent to which you do it and the amount of growth involved in the way you do it, if that makes sense. Like everybody who plays video games has probably gotten resistance for that fact, right? But there's just a, a, an amazing amount of things I've gotten from video games. There are so many concepts I pulled from games that are essential, I'd say, to my identity and have shaped my life. Like. In one of the first Avatar reactions I ever did, I talked about how the Final Fantasy series had a big impact on my decisions to travel. I think that when games can be an issue is when you've sort of mastered the game already and you're still sort of playing it because it's habit. Like I have a clear feeling in my mind when I'm playing a game, but I've sort of gotten everything out of it already and now I'm just playing to play it. There's less of a connection to it. It just feels like I'm killing time. It's the time that's spent fruitlessly playing that I would say is less useful and maybe somewhat damaging if it takes us away from other things that we should be doing. But that's true of anything. The same is true of like TV and movies. I get a tremendous amount of utility out of TV and movies, obviously, right? But watching a really great show for the first time that is super engaging and makes me think and makes me feel is way different from like lying down in bed and just picking the first thing I see and sort of watching brainlessly for six hours before going to sleep. You know what I mean? It's not like there's a hobby and, and productive things. It's more like the level of engagement we have with the thing and what actual utility we're getting from it. And that can come from anything, can come from any pastime. There is no such thing as like just a hobby for me in the sense of like personal productivity. Maybe that exists in like the financial sense, but absolutely she's getting a tremendous amount out of music and everyone can see that. I you can play so many instruments! You're freaking awesome! <laughs> Pumping her up. I wonder if this is her real dream, you know? Like, hero aside. And she really wants to perform, but it's terrifying. If I didn't do it... It's deeply personal. I guess it wouldn't be rocking at all. <laughs> yeah! Do it with a smile on your face. Throw a dance party like this school's never seen before! Yeah! What? 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 What was that? Someone looking at them through the, through the YouTube? Through the YouTube. Great job, Alex. Harry, Finally! Sorry we couldn't come see you sooner. This is nice. I love that they're both visiting. Apparently this is her only request since she regained consciousness. So we're obliging her. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be much of a rescue if, like, she was still just imprisoned in a room. Have some humanity. I don't think we need to be concerned. Currently, there's not enough energy some left fancy for girl to go out of control. I'm Deku. A hero name? It's like He's running through these halls with a smile on his face. Deku. Mm -hmm. Right. So Lemillion and Deku, and then. Oh no! One more chance to twist the knife. From what I understand, she's racked with guilt and has been blaming herself for everything that happened. Someone set her straight, please. I guarantee that none of us think this was your fault at all. There you go. You know what we are thinking, though? Man, I am stupid glad that Aerie's okay. <laughs> it's such a comforting way of speaking to people. I love it. Everyone fought because they wanted to see you smile. 
I see she went to the Deku school smiling. I think I've forgotten how smiling feels. Oh no, that's the worst thing you could ever say in this hero society. <laughs> the horrible things he did are still hurting her. Yeah. I mean, give her time. This girl just... hasn't been saved. Right, right. It's gonna take time. You can't forget something like that overnight. There has to be something I can do to help her. I feel like he's already doing it right now. Bring her to the dance festival. Oh, surprise is the best. Give her some cheese. She should come with us. To the festival. To the UA festival. There we go. Ah. What's a festival? Airy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sad. I bet there will be candy apples there. What are candy apples? Oh no. <laughs> Poor girl. You got a lot to look forward to. It's already working, the culture festival, just by giving that image in her head. Well, Ari, what do you think? Pete's staying in this damn hospital with no one visiting me. I'm on a break from school right now, so I can totally hang out with you before a festival date. Right. A date? <laughs> That's when two people who like each other spend time together. <laughs> You're going on a date? <laughs> Maybe that's enough for today. Yeah, they're moving real quick. Yeah, it was a great gift they gave to her. That was something that she has to look forward to now, and also support from people. Like, real human connection. It's everything. Let's find out where he uploaded this video from. Hey, look who it is. My boy, Dog Detective. Welcome, dearest viewers. I bid you good day. Yep, too accurate. <laughs> I hope you'll pardon my rudeness, but I simply don't have the time for idle chatter. Oh, he's got a British accent, so you know he's evil. But what's his quirk? Cut to black, if you please. He's got a video quirk? What did he just do? Money is not the goal. Rather to write my name in the annals of history. Gentle criminal at your service. Gentle criminal. And then suddenly in the desert. Gentle video. He's got very elaborate, elaborate text that's how you know he's powerful. These are becoming more elaborate. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. We're not getting many views on the new video. Oh, I know, I know that feeling. <laughs> I wonderful today. I just don't get it. The al algorithm can be can be a real beast. Yeah, we need to accomplish greater feats. It is time for a proper spectacle. So, yeah, this guy's a true YouTuber. <laughs> the YapTuber, I mean. I need a scheme that no soul can ignore. Uh, I don't like that they flash to Aerie's face there. Leave Aerie alone. Pot! Okay, well that was an interesting villain introduction. I think it doesn't seem that bad. I mean, it's no overhaul. I guess a fitting villain for this slice of life arc, which I'm really loving. I mean, the episodes are very calm and they're sort of taking their time and they're flashing to multiple different subjects, but all of it is really enjoyable. Like none of it seems wasted. It doesn't seem like filler. It seems like really cool setup and character building and it's fun. Like I'm looking forward to this culture festival and I love the Mirio Deku visitation scene with Eri. That's long overdue in my opinion. I've been waiting for that. One of my favorite memories actually is the day we had a culture festival at the school I taught at in China, at the high school. But in that one, it wasn't so much that one class came together as a group. It was more like small groups of students made activities. And I was also supposed to come up with like a booth and I sort of put it off to the last minute. And then the morning of, I decided to do the card game. I think it's called Speed. It's a game of speed where you have to like quickly eliminate your cards by placing them in the right the right sequence. And so I just bought a pack of cards that morning and just set it out on a table. And everyone who passed by, I would offer one free game. Like just play once for free to learn the rules. And in that round, I would let them get really, really close so that they thought they had a better chance and they actually did. And then after that game, I would say, we'll play again. And if you win, I'll double your coupons because the way you pay at the culture event is, is coupons, which you have to buy initially. And so I ended up making a lot of coupons. <laughs> Uh, that day until one of my students just became dedicated. She became like dedicated to, to beating me and we ended up having this epic epic speed showdown and so like a crowd formed around us as we were doing this speed tournament and she ended up getting the better of me and actually like winning some money off me. But then at the end I had all these coupons and I'm like what do I do with it? And there was a, a game where you could throw a tiny ping pong ball into a cup and if you actually got it in the cup you won cash prizes and I'm like oh this is a way to actually get cash. So like I just figured out a, 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 the trick to it. I figured out the method to actually get it in the cup because it's supposed to be impossible and I got it in and won the cash and all the students were sort of stunned like the teacher just won money from us and I couldn't just walk away from it so I ended up giving it back and I don't know it was just a great day like I bonded with the students and got to see their creative sides and got to see them working hard and having fun and it was such a welcome break from the, the tedium of school and the you know the teacher student relationship which can be strenuous at times and to see their real gifts and some of the real personalities outside of you know just sitting in a desk all day. There was one incident that day that actually moved me to tears it was a, a tarot reading. One of my students read my tarot in English and that's not easy you know it was a really common complicated reading that she gave me and I was so so overwhelmed by how much her English had improved and how much talent that she just had as a person. That was one of the greatest moments for me as a teacher like ever. So yeah bottom line I fully support this culture festival idea. I love the idea of like having rest 
to balance things out. In fact, I think more of this kind of thing probably would go a long way. I feel like for all our, our focus on these sort of very abstract fields, the most important things are always going to come down to the basics, like just planning and executing, being disciplined, having a schedule, bringing your goals to fruition, socializing, getting along with others, working in a team, being able to communicate. These are all things that are essential. So yeah, that's the end of this, this amazing, amazing, heartwarming episode. I'll see you guys next time when we get to let loose and also maybe learn more about this YapTube villain and his quest for views. Thank you.